Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna see how we can print the reverse pyramid star pattern in Java. So, in this program, we have one class called reverse pyramid star pattern, and inside the main method, we have one integer variable row, and this will hold the number of rows our pattern going to print. I have initialized it with the value 5. Also, we can take user inputs for our row number. So, first, we have one for loop, this will run from 0 to less than row and in every iteration the value of i will be increased by 1 and the outer for loop has two inner for loops so the first inner for loop will run from 0 to less than equal i and in every iteration it will print space onto the console and the next inner for loop will run from 0 to less than row minus i and in every iteration it will print one star onto the console and then we have the println method for the line break and after that the control will go back to the beginning of the outer for loop and it will repeat whole of that cycle over and over again until that outer for loop condition becomes false so in the beginning of the outer for loop the value of i will be zero so the first inner for loop will run for one time so it will print one space and the next inner for loop will run from zero to row minus i so 5 minus 0 so it will run 5 times and it will print 5 stars onto the console and then we have the line break after that the control will go back to the beginning of the outer for loop and this time the value of i will be 1 so the first inner for loop will run from 0 to 1 so it will print 2 space and the next inner for loop will run from 0 to 5 minus 1 so it will run from 0 to 4 so it will print 4 stars and then again we have the line break and this way it will continue to print the space and the star over and over again and when the value of i is going to be 5 so the outer for loop condition will be false so the whole program will be terminated and this way we can have the reverse pyramid star pattern onto the console so now I'm gonna save the program and I'm gonna compile and run the program And you can see the output we have the reverse pyramid star pattern onto the console. So this way we can use the nested inner for loop and we can print the reverse pyramid star pattern onto the console. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.